Oh my god, I can already tell that we're gonna need 44% cc's of HP lead. Or 33 at least. Minimum. Let's go. Thank you. Can you hand me the laser? Oh my god, is that? Is that what I think it is? What? Is that? Illusion! Get that out of here! Uh, hand me a Sigmaris. Or a uh, Veramos. That's that looking good. It. If you've been running an inconsistent Giants B12 team for some time and you're wondering why it's failing, well, you've come to the right surgery room because we're going to walk you through a few of the pitfalls that you might be facing when playing with your starter free-to-play Giants B12 team. And with what you've learned here, you'll be able to operate on your team and make the necessary changes to make it 100%. That's right, because we're doctors. Doctors. Doctor? Doctor. 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 Welcome to Grogan's Anatomy. Are we not going with Jing Zhe's anatomy? <laughs> That's good too. <laughs> First of all, you want to check for Lucian's. If you find a Lucian inside your team, you may want to remove that. Even inside though he, the body. Inside the body that is your team. <laughs> this analogy is getting away from me. But if you find a Lucian in it, remove it because it could add variants that doesn't necessarily need to be there. We all know Lucian's are fun, but like <laughs> they are not safe. <laughs> It makes total sense. It they're does, fun. Can we say it? We all know illusions are fun, but like fast cars, they're not that safe. Instead, you'll want to opt for more reliable single target damage, something that a second awakened pro or two a Naomi could bring to the team instead. After the creation of GB12, the boss got so much HP that the use of illusion is reserved for people with extremely high level runes. So if you're like Evan, you should avoid hey. that for now. That's not even in the script! <laughs> Lucian not only will bring a more aggressive leader skill, whereas Sigmaris and Veramos will bring the HP lead you need to keep your team alive. I think we'll need an investigative surgery to see if your Fran and Lauren are doing. Something, something a little non-invasive. <laughs> That's another phrase I know. <laughs> That's very good. Great. Don't worry, we'll only use a local anesthetic. It's an outpatient surgery. We'll have you in and out so fast. This, this is great. We're burning too many of these. We gotta... <laughs> For both your Fran and Lauren, you're going to want them to have at least a bonus of 100 speed, be it on swift or violent if you can swing it. But more often than not, you're going to want to just settle on swift because this is a little bit reductive, but more speed equals more turns and both of them you want taking lots of turns. So turn in that frown, turn side turn because they'll get them on swift turn or violent. <laughs> so either one of those is fine for them, but remember speed slot 2 is a must. And then HP on slot four, and for Lauren, you can rock the accuracy slot six. For Fran, that's not needed. She just needs to be tanky. And why do they need to be tanky, doctor? You want your Fran and Lauren to be tankier than the rest of your team because the boss revenges after the seventh hit. And both Fran and Lauren hit three times on their first skill. So more often than not, they're going to be the ones that are actually going to be procking that passive counterattack. So you want them to make it out alive if possible. To be honest, they're the expendable ones. Another important thing you must observe while in there looking at your Lauren is, does you have enough accuracy to land consistently the death break, slow, and attack bar reduction she's there to do. And since B12's inception, the mid boss has now bumped up his resistance to about 100%. So that means that you're gonna want something in the range of 80 to 85% accuracy on your Lauren. Even though speed is not the most important thing for your DPS units, is still something that as doctors, MDs, Master and Dungeons, we have to check. Nine out of 10 doctors recommend having at least 40 to 50 extra speed on your main damage dealers, so that way they can keep doing what they're there to do, and that is deal a lot of damage. And with that, you ask us, Dr. Evan, does my Sigmaris need 100 extra speed? No. no. But if it only has 20, then it won't be taking enough turns to deal the damage that it needs. Let me call the specialist in this matter, Dr. Evan. Yes, hello, Dr. Seppi. Hello, is this Dr. Evan? Yes, it is. I've heard you're the world class specialist in lack of crit rate. You didn't have any back in the day and nowadays you have lots of it? That's right, that's my title. I earned that. In GB12 in general, how much crit rate would you recommend for monsters that are the damage dealers? For something like a crow or a Sigmaris yes. or- Yes, or, or yeah. I would recommend something in the neighborhood of 80 to 95% crit rate. Interesting, interesting. And uh, for a monster like Naomi, 
uh, she can be as close to zero as humanly possible, but you know that's an exception. Nice. Thank you so much for your information. Um, I just wanted to say that the work you've done for us through all, all these years uh, has helped the community so much, and just seeing someone like you make it just makes me believe that everyone can. Yeah, no problem, dude. You're truly a motivation. Thank you, bye. <laughs> Say hi to your mom for me. How does he also know <laughs> But seriously though, if you don't have enough crit rate, then all of the crit damage that you're ruining your monsters on is just gonna go to waste. And also Sigmaris needs it to land the breeze. I know this is a little bit obvious for most people, but if you're a beginner surgeon in training, you should know this. Maxing slots two, four, and six of your runes, normally the ones that have percentage, are really, really key. What, why are you looking? I think I'm just revealed that I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> Also, have you heard about the new surgical technology known as artifacts? Even if you can't do B10s, you should be doing B1, B2, whatever B that you can do. Be what you want to be. <laughs> be what you can. Just be yourself. Be happy. So in general, artifacts are so much cheaper to upgrade than runes all the way to their plus 15, and that flat base bonus that it gives you in the primary slot is going to be the same regardless of rarity when you find an artifact. So you should equip whatever you can just to get that little bonus, and you're going to find that it's going to make your time in dungeons way easier. Especially since you're in early or mid game, the substats are not going to be as relevant, and they're going to be more important in places like RTA. So for now, upgrade those ones, don't spend lots of mana, and you'll get extra HP, defense, or attack. Patient saved. Let's hope your insurance covers it.